Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Megan Wolf, and I'm the Children's Librarian at the Alhambra Civic Center Library. Today, I have some stories for you about a special kind of fruit. What kind of fruit is this? This is an apple. Do you like apples? I do. Did you know they come in different colors? And in fact, my apple has more than one color on it. What colors do you see? I see some red and a little bit of pink and some yellow and green on that side. So apples can come in different colors and since there's different types of apples, they have different names. So this apple happens to be my favorite kind of apple. This is a pink lady apple. It does have a little bit of pink on it and it also tastes very sweet. So I hope you'll get to try a pink lady apple sometime. Let's get ready for our apple stories and warm up our voices by singing our song. Are your hands ready? I can make my hands go clap. can make my hands go clap, clap, clap. They're a part of me. I can make my feet go stump, 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 stump. I can make my feet go stump, stump, stump. They're a part of me. I can make my fingers go wiggle, 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 wiggle. I can make my fingers go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They're a part of me. I can make my head go nod, 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 nod. Nod, nod, nod. I can make my head go nod, nod, nod. It's a part of me. I can make my eyes go blink, 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 blink. I can make my eyes go blink, blink, blink. They're a part of me. Good job. Let's read our first apple story. Our first apple story is called, I am an apple. And the words were written by Jean Marzolo and the pictures were illustrated by Judith Moffat. I am an apple. I am a red bud. I live on a branch in an apple tree. I grow in the rain. I grow in the sun. I unfold and I'm an apple blossom, a flower. I have one, two, three, four, five petals. I'm beautiful. What color are our apple blossoms? Pink. In time, my petals fall to the ground. Now I'm a small apple. I hang by a stem. The stem brings me water and food. I grow bigger and bigger. My tree is full of apples. 
Once we were green. Now what color are they? Red. Red, redder, reddest. We are all ready to be picked. Most apples are picked by farm workers. Then truckers drive us to the market. Apples come in different shapes and colors. Some are sweet and others are sour. Apple sauce is made from apples. What else is made from apples? What other delicious treats do you like to eat that are made from apples? How about apple pie? Apple juice, maybe some apple muffins. Those all sound delicious. Each apple has a star of seeds inside. The star has one, two, three, four, five parts, just like our flower that we talked about in the beginning, our apple blossom. If you plant apple seeds, what do you get? Apple trees. So how does that work? You take an apple seed and plant it in the ground in some dirt and then you make sure that seed gets lots of water and sun. Then the seed will grow into an apple tree. On the tree will grow a bud that will turn into an apple blossom, a flower. And then that flower will become an apple. And inside that apple, you'll find seeds in case you want to plant your apple tree all over again. And that is the end. So let's see if our apple has a star inside, just like in our story. So you can try this at home with an apple. Have your grown up help you cut the apple. You're going to cut the apple in half, but not from the stem to the bottom. You're going to cut the apple around the middle. I already cut my apple, so I'm gonna open it up and I'll show you and I'll come a little closer so you can see. Do you see the star inside my apple? That's one part. And then the other part right there. So it has five parts just like our flower. So try that at home with your apple. Cut it in half and look for the star. Way up high in the tree, two little apples smiled down at me. So I shook that tree just as hard as I could. Down came the apples, mmm, mmm, good. Let's read another apple story. Our next story is about Toto's Apple by Matthew Lavoie. Toto's Apple. This is Toto and this is the apple. The apple is up high and Toto is down low. A bird flies by and Toto has an idea. Toto gets busy. 
What is Toto making? Toto waits. Toto climbs on. takes off. And lands in the wrong tree. Toto is here and the apple is over there. A squirrel approaches and Toto has an idea. Toto gets busy. What is he doing? Toto waits. And Toto dashes off. To the top of the tree. Toto is up high and the apple is down low. A leaf falls down and Toto has an idea. Toto gets busy. Now what is Toto making? Toto hesitates. Toto takes the plunge. What does Toto look like? The apple is up high and Toto is down low. Dee Dee arrives and Toto hides. Dee Dee munches the apple and Toto is devastated. An airplane flies by and Dee Dee drops the apple. Toto knows that it's now or never. So where does Toto go? Dee Dee grabs the apple and swallows Toto. Uh-oh. The apple is inside, and now so is Toto. The apple and Toto are together, and Toto is very happy. And that is the end. Let's do a story about some apples hanging in the tree. So here is my tree and let's count how many apples are hanging in the tree. One, two, three, four.
four, five. Those five apples sure look delicious, especially to a worm like Mr. Slinky Worm. Five little apples hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. You can't eat me. You can't eat me. Well, along comes Mr. Slinky Worm. Let's watch that again. And crunches an apple right off of the tree. Four little apples hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. You can't eat me. You can't eat me. Well, along comes Mr. Slinky Worm. Let's quiet it again. And crunches an apple right off of the tree. Three little apples hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. You can't eat me. You can't eat me. Well, along comes Mr. Slinky Worm. Let's quiet it again. And crunches that apple right out of the tree. Two little apples hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. You can't eat me. You can't eat me. Well, along comes Mr. Slinky Worm. And crunches an apple right off of the tree. One little apple hanging in the tree, teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. You can't eat me. You can't eat me. Well, along comes Mr. Slinky Worm. Let's quiet it again. And crunches an apple right off of the tree. And then there were no more apples and one very full Mr. Slinky Worm. The end. Let's go do some fishing. If we go fishing, what do you think we'll catch? Fish, right? What if it's a fishing surprise? by Ray A. McDonald, illustrated by Kathleen Kemley. A fishing surprise! Sunny day, lays and play, toss the line, it's fishing time! Worms are wiggling, lots of giggling, holding tight, bobbers in sight. We're hungry, we're hungry, we're hungry for some fish tonight. Out of you, shh, breezes blew, apples dropped, plip, perplop. Slish and slosh, apples wash, appley, quack, quack, quackily, bobbling happily. Spin and swirl, fish twirl, fiddly bop. Stream rushes in the rushes. Heron waves as apples parade. Eyes on the water. Sun getting hotter, sitting, fishing, 
mostly wishing. Still hungry, still hungry, still hungry for some fish tonight. Suddenly, look and see. What's that floating? Apples boating. Hurry, scurry, what a flurry. Follow the trail and fill up the pail. Nets dip, apples flip, water dripping, feet a slipping. Nets so full, buckets to pull. Rest a while, walked a mile. Overhead, green and red. Tree, it was you. Thank you, doody do. Fishing done, time to run. Ho, oh, hey, what'll they say? Did you catch any fish today? Did we catch any fish? What did we catch instead? We'll sing and shout and haul our catch out. We'll yell, surprise, no fish to fry. We're hungry, we're hungry, we're hungry for some apple pie. And that is the end. Once a little apple seed was planted in the ground. Down came the raindrops falling all around. Out came the big sun, bright as can be, and the little apple seed grew up to be a tree. I hope you enjoyed our stories about apples. Let's sing our goodbye song before we go. Ready? Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, we'll see you all next time. See you later alligators. I hope you get to eat your own delicious apple real soon. Bye.